Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are gonna be making my famous weight loss shake or weight loss smoothie recipe. And the reason I say it's famous is because over the past three or four months, I've posted pictures of the smoothie or shake every day basically in my Instagram stories and I've lost over 20 pounds in that time frame. And uh, because of that, people have been DMing me nonstop asking for the recipe. So today I am sharing my weight loss smoothie or shake recipe with you. Of course, uh, before we start, I wanna say there's nothing special about this smoothie or shake that has made me lose weight any faster than drinking any other kind of shake has, but there are a few reasons why I think this shake in particular works so well for me and probably can work well for you too. Number one, this shake is packed with protein and protein is very satiating. So after I drink the shake, I really am not hungry for the rest of the day. Usually I have this in the morning so I can go hours and hours and hours without eating. And I think the protein content in the shake is one of the reasons why I can do that. Number two, this recipe makes a ton of smoothie deliciousness. And when I say a ton, it makes like 50 ounces of smoothie and obviously that is a ton of liquid so after you drink something like that uh, not only am i hydrated but i just i really don't feel like eating for a long time after i have the shake and then last but not least the third reason is because there's a little bit of caffeine in the shake and obviously if you have a little bit of caffeine you're going to be moving your hands you're going to be moving around burning more calories i usually have this as a pre-workout shake and also sometimes as a post-workout shake too so those are all the reasons why i think that the shake might work in terms of weight loss for you like it has for me with that said let's not waste any more time let's jump right here in my kitchen and i'll show you how to make it all right so for the base of the smoothie you want to use a cup or 240 milliliters of the milk of your choice. As far as the one I like to use, my go-to is some unsweetened vanilla almond milk since it's low in carbs and low in calories. Now, after I've added the milk to my blender, the next thing I like to add is one small or medium-sized banana, and usually this works out to be about 100 grams worth of banana. Also, even though I'm not using them today, I really like adding frozen bananas when I have them, just because I'll end up using less ice later on and using them instead of more ice makes the shake even creamier and even more flavorful. By the way, if you wanna skip the bananas, I do have a second version of the shake that doesn't require any. I even make this version for myself from time to time, but we're gonna talk about that option a little later on in the video. Anyway, the next thing I like to add to my smoothie is some of this sugar-free, low-carb, low-calorie chocolate syrup. I like to use three tablespoons or 45 grams of it, and using it not only enhances the chocolate flavor of the shake, but it adds a bit of caffeine to it as well. And of course, I have to mention this, do not, I repeat, do not put the syrup on ice cream. On ice cream, it is absolutely disgusting, but for whatever reason, in shakes, and when used to make low calorie, low carb chocolate milk, it's delicious. But for whatever reason, it is absolutely disgusting, on ice cream, so you've been warned. Now, the next thing I like to add to my shake is some black cocoa powder, and this is really the key ingredient to making the smoothie taste like an Oreo cookie. So if you want yours to taste like this, make sure to pick some of this stuff up. There's a link to grab some in the video description below. Also, if you're wondering how much of it I use, I use three tablespoons or 15 grams of it in my shake. Okay, so once I've added that, I like to add a scoop or 30 grams of protein powder. And as far as the one I like to use in my weight loss smoothies, I like to use this vanilla one by PE Science. Kind of gives the shake a hint of cream flavor just like an Oreo has. And it's also a whey casing blend, so it digests a little slower and keeps me fuller a bit longer than just using a whey protein would. Anyway, after I add the protein powder, I'll add about two to three cups of ice. Of course, how much I add just depends on if I'm using frozen bananas or not. And then when I've added the ice to the mix, I'll get my blender on the motor and whiz everything up until it combines into a thick smoothie of Oreo deliciousness. So all that's left to do now is add it to a glass and top it with some whipped cream and a little bit of that black cocoa powder from earlier to take the shake over the top and make it look super Instagrammable. All right, so like I said, I do have a banana free version of the smoothie. So let me show you how you can make that really quick. All right, you'll wanna start off by using some normal milk. 
And what I mean by that is milk from an actual cow. I like to use this one by Fairlife for two reasons. Number one, it has half the carbs and sugar that normal milk has. And number two, it has double the protein that normal milk has. So I'm gonna add a cup of that to my blender along with the chocolate syrup, black cocoa powder, and protein powder, just like I did before. And yes, you wanna use all the same measurements as I used before as well. However, with this version of the smoothie, wanna also add some of this stuff, some instant sugar-free, fat-free vanilla pudding mix to replace some of the creaminess and sweetness that we will of course have lost by not using bananas. Now, as far as how much of the stuff I use, I usually add about a quarter of a packet or around 10 grams of it when I'm making the shake this way and it works great. Then when I've added all that to my blender, I add around three cups of ice and blend it until it becomes three C's thick. So once that's looking good, I'll spoon it into a cup, top it with some whipped cream and some more black cocoa. Of course, I'm not gonna lie, I do really like drinking this straight out of the blender as well. All right, it is that time of the video. It is questions from the fridge time. And I think the number one question I'm gonna get on today's video is can I cut this recipe in half? Can I cut it into a quarter? Because I don't know, Joe, if I want to drink 50 ounces uh, of a smoothie. And the answer is, of course, you can totally cut this in half or a quarter and the results will still turn out absolutely delicious. Now, the only other question I think I might get is do I have to use the black cocoa powder to make the shake or could I use just normal cocoa powder? And the answer is you can absolutely just use normal cocoa powder to make this smoothie. But if you do, it's just gonna taste like a normal chocolate shake. It's not gonna taste like an Oreo. The reason an Oreo tastes like an Oreo and the reason the shake tastes like an Oreo is because of black cocoa powder. That is what's giving it that Oreo flavor. So just keep that in mind. It's very delicious just with cocoa powder. It's a very delicious chocolate shake. I made it for breakfast this morning. It was so good, but it didn't taste like an Oreo. I think we're ready to do a taste test now. I'm not gonna lie guys, a lot of times I don't put this in a glass and put whipped cream and the black cocoa on it. I don't take the time to do that. I just drink it straight out of the blender. Mm, that is so good. It is liquid Oreo. It's unreal. The pro tip though, you go a little shake, little whipped cream, that way you get the chocolate Oreo goodness, like the cookie part is the shake and the cream is the whipped cream top. That is the perfect bite or sip or whatever you wanna call it. It's legitimately an Oreo in smoothie form and it's good for you. It, it's just, it's crazy how good this is. By the way, one thing I didn't mention earlier is uh, the taste of the banana in the smoothie. You can't taste it. Once you try this, I think you'll be surprised that you actually can't taste banana in this at all. It legitimately just tastes like an Oreo in liquid form. That's what you got in here. Anyway, that's how to make my famous shake recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you try it, definitely tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your recreations and I'd love to put them in my stories as well. As always, for more info on today's recipe, check out the video description below. There's a ton of really great info down there. That'll do it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers to making a great shake.